Hi there, Jean Greer here at Stylish Fireplaces with some help operating your Napoleon Allure Vision CHD series electric fireplace. The first thing I'm going to recommend is that you find your owner's manual. This would have come with the fireplace. If you don't have one any longer, go to stylishfireplaces.ca, look up your model, click on the installation tab and find your manual because there are operating instructions inside the manual. And this fireplace has some quite different functions between the manual control panel on the fireplace and the remote control. So it's important that you know the differences and you're probably going to use the remote more often than not. And then when you can't find the remote and you need your manual controls, you're going to need this guide. It is a, a little bit different. Most of the fireplaces do have similar functions on the remote and on the touchpad. They're usually very, very close. On the Allura Vision CHD, there are fewer functions on the touchpad and different combinations of buttons to get some of the additional functions. So you will need some help remembering those. But let's start with the remote. So the remote has more functions than, than the touchpad and it looks like this for the CHD. I have a power button at the top so that obviously turns the fireplace on. And then I have my flame color buttons. So I have blue, orange, and yellow flames. The flames on this fireplace are layered. So you take away color or you add it back in. So if I want more orange, I hit that and it's going up. But then if I hit it again, it brings it down. Now I have yellow, I go back up. So in order to get the fullest flame, I'm going to have at least two colors in there. Otherwise, I'm going to see gaps in the flame. So that's how the flame effect works with the CHD series. So I have three flame colors to play with here and to get the right balance. I also have a flame speed button. So that's the little swish there. So I can change the speed of my flames to suit personal preferences, faster, slower. Somewhere in the middle is usually where most of us have it. I have a, an ember light button. So that is the one with the little dots underneath. And I'm going to change the colors of the ember bed. So there are different levels. You can go all the way through the presets. When you get to number seven, it will cycle through all of the colors. And if there's a particular color you want to hold, you would click number eight and it will hold you at that color. Wherever it landed on number seven, when you click number eight, it's gonna hold that color. There's also a brightness button for the ember lighting. So that's the little sort of star shape. That's going to affect the brightness of the ember lights. So I can tone those down or turn them up. And then there's a down light. With the CHD series, I have a down light. So an overhead light that's going to shine down on everything from above. So I can light that up. And again, I have all of the presets. I can get to number seven and it will cycle through. And then I can hit it again and I can hold it at that color. There isn't a brightness adjustment on the down lighting. So if you're not happy with that light, you will just not use it. There isn't a way to tone it down. It's either on or off and then you set your preferred color. And then I have a sleep timer. So sleep timer on an electric fireplace is a preset time anywhere from 30 minutes and up. And when the timer expires, the fireplace will turn itself off. So that's a great family friendly feature. If somebody's gonna leave the room and forget about the fireplace or they're gonna fall asleep in front of it, the sleep timer will take care of turning it off automatically after the timer expires. So we like that feature on our electrics. And then we have heat. So the wiggly line is sort of the universal heat symbol for an electric fireplace. So when I first press that wiggly line, I get the blower. No heat, just the blower. Then I hit it and I get more heat. And when I hit it again, I get heat with a blower boost. I'm not yet controlling the temperature. If I want temperature control, I'm going to hit the thermostat button. So I'm going to hit that button 
and now it's going to tell me I'm set to 18. The heater went off because if I'm set to 18 and the room is already above that temperature, it doesn't need the heater on. So now I'm going to say, okay, I want the heater at a certain level, and if we drop down below that temperature, the heater will come on automatically. If I don't set a temperature, the heater will just run until I turn it off or tell it to do something other than running as it is. So it's important to use the temperature function if I want to control my energy output and, and make sure that I don't get to a temperature I'm not comfortable with in the room. So we use the temperature function for that. So that takes care of all of the functions on the remote. If we look at the touchpad, which has been lighting up as I play with the remote, then we have a different set of functions. And I'm gonna use my cheat sheet here because it is a little bit different. So we have a power button. And on this fireplace, power fades in and out, or the flames fade in and out. That's the power button. We have two flame buttons. This one is the orange flame button. This one is the blue flame button. Oh, sorry. We have our blue flame button set to be the temperature. Um, so I'm just going to press that again and now it's the blue flame button. So this is what happens on the touchpad because there are fewer buttons here and fewer functions. Some of the functions are the same, but the blue flame button, if I press it and hold it, will become the temperature control because there isn't a thermostat on this touchpad. So hold that button, it becomes my temperature control instead of controlling the blue flames. So I'll see it go to temperature and then I can use it to change the thermostat. If I hold it again for about five seconds, it will change back to a flame control and I can adjust the blue flames. The orange flame button also has a dual function. So if I press and hold the orange flame button, it will change the temperature reading from Fahrenheit to Celsius or from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Um, and then when I do adjust the temperature, it will um, read out in the preferred measurement that I want. Otherwise, it's just controlling the orange flames. We do have the ember lighting on here, so we have that manual control. And then we don't have down lighting on the touchpad. So we don't have yellow flame control, we don't have down lighting control on the touchpad. So those are some important things to remember when you're looking at the manual controls. There is a heat lock on this fireplace, so if you want to press the heat button for five seconds, it will block out the heater so that uh, it can't be turned on. So it's saying LO lockout, so it can't be turned on inadvertently until I unlock it. So again, that's a family friendly feature. If little kiddos fingers are gonna reach this, then we wanna make sure they can't turn on the heater accidentally when you don't want the heater on. So that's how you're going to use your manual controls on the Allura Vision. Again, you can find your manual at stylishfireplaces.ca, look up your fireplace model, go to the installation tab and you can download the manual and um, get all of the instructions you need on how to operate this fireplace.